Welcome to Storytime. I'm from the Bay St. Louis Library, and today we're going to talk about Read Across America and Dr. Seuss. The first week in March is always Read Across America, which celebrates the joys of reading. And it starts with Dr. Seuss's birthday, which is March 2nd, because he was such a wonderful children's author. So today we're going to be reading some books one of them by Dr. Seuss, and some of them that have won awards by the Geisel Award, which is a Dr. Seuss Foundation that celebrates great children's books. I'm going to show you how to say read in sign language. We've got a wonderful craft and activities for you today at the end, and we're going to finish everything with Excel by 5 and 2D Top. So are you ready for a story? Okay, for Read Across America, I'm going to show you the sign language for read. You hold up your non-dominant hand like it's a book. And you hold up your two fingers on your other hand and you just kind of go down the page like you're reading a book. And that is how you say read in sign language. This great book is by Dr. Seuss. It's called Hop on Pop. It has a lot of fantastical creatures and rhyming verse, and it is made for the simplest Seuss for youngest use for younger kids, and it's a lot of fun. So let's see where we can find pop in this book. Up, pup. Pup is up, and this bird is looking up. Cup, pup. Pup in a cup. Pup cup, cup on pup. That's very silly. Mouse house, mouse on a house. House mouse, house on a mouse. That's got to be heavy. All tall, we are all tall. All small. We are all small. All ball. We all play ball. Ball wall. Up on a wall. They are all playing ball on the wall. All fall. Fall off the wall. Ouch. Day play. We play all day. Night fight. We fight all night. He, me. He is after me. Him, Jim. Jim is after him. And Jim is biting his tail. C, B. We see a B. C, B, three. Now we see three. And they are running from those beats. Three, tree. Three fish in a tree. Fish in a tree, how can that be? Red, red, they call me red. Why do you think they call him red? Red bed, I am in bed. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed in bed. There's red, Ned, Ted, and Ed all in bed. Pat, Pat. They call him Pat. Pat sat. Pat sat on a hat. Pat, cat. Pat sat on cat. Poor cat. Pat, bat. Pat sat on a bat. That's a baseball bat. That can't be comfortable. No, Pat, no. Don't sit on that. Why wouldn't he sit on that? It's a cactus. Sad, dad, bad, had. Dad is sad, very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a day dad had. Thing, thing, what is that thing? Thing, sing, that thing can sing. Song, long, a long, long song. Goodbye, thing, you sing too long.
Walk, walk, we like to walk. Walk, talk, we like to talk. Hop, pop, we like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. Uh-oh, they are doing a little dance on pop. Stop, you must not hop on pop. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown upside down. Pup up, brown down. Pup is down, where is brown? Oh, where did he go? Where is brown? There is brown. Mr. Brown is out of town. He is flying far away. Back black, brown came back. Brown came back with Mr. Black. Snack, snack, eat a snack, eat a snack with brown and black. Jump, bump, he jumped, he bumped. Uh-oh. Fast, past, he went past fast. Went, tent, sent, he went into the tent. I wonder what he is. I sent him out of the tent, like go. Wet, get, two dogs get wet. Help, yelp, they yelp for help. Hill, will, will went uphill. Will, hill, still, will is uphill still. He is all the way up here. Father, mother, sister, brother. That one is my other brother. My brothers read a little bit, little words like if and it. My father can read big words too, like Constantinople and Timbuktu. Say, say, what does this say? Ask me tomorrow, but not today. Okay, this book is by Corey Tabor. It's called Fox and Tiger. It's an I Can Read book. And Corey Tabor won a Geisel Award, which stands for Dr. Timothy Seuss Geisel. And it's an award given to writers of young reader books that are very creative. So this one actually won an award. It's really cute. It's about a fox that wishes he were a tiger. So Fox is reading this long, long book. He says, I wish I were a tiger, says Fox. Tigers are big. Tigers are fast. Whoosh. Tigers are sneaky. There's one sneaking in the woods. Tigers are the best. Fox has an idea. There, now I am a tiger, says Tiger. So there's a paint can and a paintbrush right here. He has painted stripes on himself. Tiger goes for a prowl. Hello, Fox, says Turtle. I am not Fox, I am Tiger, says Tiger. I prowl and growl. Now Turtle has an idea. Wait here, says Turtle. Tiger waits and waits and waits. There's a snail going by really slowly. Hi, turtle, says tiger. Hi, turtle, says rabbit. I am not turtle. I am race car, says race car. I zip and zoom. So a turtle has painted racing stripes on himself with a number four. Now Rabbit has an idea. Wait here, says Rabbit. Tiger waits. Race car waits too. Hi, Rabbit, says Tiger. Hi, Rabbit, says Race car. I am not Rabbit. I am Robot, says Robot. I beep, bop, boop. So he's made himself a little costume. He is a robot. Tiger prowls and growls. Grrr. Race car zips and zooms. Robot beep bop boops. Drip drop drip 
drop. It starts to rain. Uh-oh. Soon, turtle is turtle, rabbit is rabbit, and fox is fox. All their paint has washed off. Oh well, says turtle. Oh well, says rabbit. They go in from the rain. Oh boo, says fox. Fox is wet. Fox is sad. Fox is fox. Wow, a fox, says squirrel. Foxes are big. Foxes are fast. Whoosh. Foxes are sneaky. Foxes are the best. Yes, says Turtle. Foxes are the best. Fox smiles. Fox is glad to be a fox. And there's a squirrel with a paintbrush. Uh-oh. All right, this great book is called The Book Hog. It is about a funny hog that apparently wears a helmet and drives a motor scooter. And it's but written and illustrated by Greg Pizzoli. And Greg is another Geisel Award winner for his creative young reader books. The book hog loved books. And he had quite a few. Look at that. He's got books everywhere. He loved the way they smelled. <sighs> and he loved the way they, the pages felt in his hooves. He especially liked the ones with pictures. He picked them up here. This is a yard sale. And there, oh, somebody threw some away. Wilbur's Books, independently owned and operated. Here's a bookstore. And anywhere he could find them. But the book hog had a secret. Shh. A big secret. He didn't know how to read. He had never learned. He was surrounded by books, but the book hog couldn't read a single one. Oh, he looks very sad. The book hog went to bed every night without a bedtime story. One morning he went out looking for more books. He's on his little motor scooter. Oh. Oh, I wonder what that is. Looks like a library. He came to a long, low building and he smelled some books inside. It says, sign up for summer reading. He snuck through the stacks, adding several books to his pile. But then a soft voice said, would you like to join us for story time? It was Miss Olive, the librarian. Pick out a book and I will read it with you. The book hog blinked. Then he swallowed. You'll read a book with me? Of course, said Miss Olive, as many as you'd like. This gave the book hog an idea. Wait here, he said. He went home. And he came back with some books. He's pulling his trailer and look how many books he has brought back. Miss Olive led story time and the book hog listened closely. He heard many stories, some funny, some sad, some kind of in between. Over time and with practice, the book hog learned to read on his own. He grew to love books even more, not just for the way they looked and felt, but for the stories they told. And yes, the book hog still takes lots, a lot of books, but he always brings them back. This says Miss Olive, book fair this Wednesday. That's adorable. Welcome to our Read Across America craft and activity time. We've got some great crafts for you today. Most of them are Dr. Seuss themed because Dr. Seuss is tied in with Read Across America because of his birthday on March 2nd. So I've got some great coloring pages for you. This one is Hop on Pop. 
we've got a little cutting activity in labeling where you can cut out the words on the bottom and label them. This is the one that I started. So I colored mine partly. You can color it however you want to. This is Hop on Pop and you can match the words with where they go. We've also got a numbering activity. Since we read a book about a fox, you've got a little puzzle that's got one through six and you cut those out and then you can put them back in order and make your recreate your puzzle. A little counting activity. Um, I've got finger puppets for you to do. Again, you're going to cut those out and then you can get your parent to help tape them onto your fingers and you can have a little finger puppet play. We've got a word search activity with some very simple rhyming words. And then our craft activity today is you get a, an aquarium, a little fish bowl that says one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. You can color this if you like. I colored mine just a little bit, just to make it pop a little bit, but that's just the way I wanted to do it. And then you're going to get, ah, puppets are attacking me. You're going to get some fish that you can cut out. You'll get two blue fish and two red fish. You can cut those out. And I drew like a little eye and a little mouth on mine. And you can practice doing one fish or two fish on your fish bowl or a red fish and a blue fish. You can also practice doing A, B patterns, which means red, blue, red, blue, or blue, red, blue, red. That means you alternate your patterns. So that's called an A, B pattern. Or you can just do A, A, so two of those, and B, B, with two of those and you can glue them on there if you want or you can just play with them and put them where you want them but you can practice with your reds and your blues and your counting and your patterns with one fish two fish red fish blue fish now remember how we said read in sign language you hold up your page use your two fingers and you go down the page like you're reading the page um, we've got these craft activities available for you at the Hancock County Library, so just give us a call, come pick yours up, and we'll have them ready for you. We're going to wrap it up with Tutita from Excel by 5, and we'll see you guys next week.